There is a porn epidemic that is affecting the entire globe. Scientists are now recognizing the major problems that are caused by pornography and how people are addicted to pornography. This is something that is so severe that in the United States, there's even one state that has declared porn a public health crisis. This is primarily due to the addictive nature of pornography. One study from 2013 even said that pornography creates the same pathways of addiction in the brain as heroin. What has been less studied is how pornography affects religious beliefs. In a recent study published in the National Institute of Health, sociologists Samuel Perry and George Hayward published an article called Seeing is Not Believing. In this article, they try to explain how pornography addiction affects faith, religious faith, and they found shocking results. They found that pornography has a secularizing effect on the viewer. They found that increased viewing of pornography causes a decrease in one's feeling of closeness to God, a decrease in frequency of prayer, a decrease in frequency of religious service attendance, a decrease in the importance of religion in one's life, and very importantly, an increase an increase in doubts about one's faith. All of this is caused by a frequent viewing of pornography. What's interesting is that these effects hold regardless of gender. It affects males and females equally, but it does have a greater impact on youth. So teenagers especially are at a higher risk of experiencing these effects from increased watching of pornography. So this is something that Muslims have to be aware of. How scary is this that there can be a drug that can have this effect on your Iman? It's interesting because we usually think about doubts or shubuhat in Islam being caused by intellectual trends or ideologies that might be affecting the way we think about certain issues. And that's true, that is a big source of doubts. But another source of doubts can be something that's not intellectual at all. As this research shows, something that is just viewing uh, indecent images, indecent videos can create doubts can create doubts in one's uh, Islam and create these kinds of shubuhat. Imagine that there is a drug that is as addictive as heroin and can potentially destroy your Iman. And not only is this drug completely free of charge, it's also widely available and you can access it at a click of a button. And also, there are no laws against this drug. There are no regulations in many countries around the world. So this drug can flood the market. Imagine how destructive a drug like that could be and how much damage could be caused to people's faith, to people's Iman, if this drug were flooding the market. And in fact, that drug exists. That drug is pornography. And this understanding of pornography as a very powerful addictive drug is not something new. Even Israel as a country has used pornography as a weapon against Palestinians. In 2002, when Israel was attacking uh, Palestine, specifically the West Bank, they took over the Palestinian TV stations and broadcast pornography on the Palestinian TV stations. Think about it. Why would Israel do this? They did this because they understood this is a weapon to take away the hayat, the modesty, the decency of Palestinians, to corrupt the Palestinians on a spiritual and psychological level. But of course, as Muslims, we've always known that we have to lower the gaze and Allah commands us to lower the gaze because the eyes are the gateway to the heart. And if you expose your eyes to filth, then that will blacken your heart and dirty your heart because of what you see and hear. What is amazing is that in one narration attributed to the Prophet Sallallahu he says that the furtive glance is like a poisoned arrow of shaitan. 
So the poisoned arrow is particularly deadly because after you remove the arrow, the poison is still in your body. The poison is still affecting you and can make you sick and can even kill you. So this is exactly akin to the nature of pornography in its addictiveness. That even when you're not watching it, it can still have an impact on you and it can make you crave it and want it more and more and more. So the Prophet ﷺ is warning of this. The Quran and the Sunnah is warning of warning us of this kind of damage caused because of uh, the unrestrained glance and looking at what is forbidden. So we ask Allah to protect us from this kind of fitna, to protect us from pornography, being addicted to pornography. And we also ask Allah to protect our children because they're also extremely vulnerable to this drug that is being mass produced and pumped into every single home through the internet, through television, through every single avenue of media. So this is an extreme danger, an extreme fitna. We need Allah's protection. We cannot be successful in avoiding this without Allah's protection. And if you are watching this and you are addicted to pornography or you have a problem with porn, in the description of the video, I've included some links to resources that can help you with this. Some of the resources are from Muslims. Some of the resources are from non-Muslims. So avail yourself of these kinds of resources and pray to Allah to guide you and to help you. Uh, free yourself from these chains, free yourself from this addiction, free yourself from something that is potentially causing you doubts in your religion, something that is potentially causing you all kinds of damage to your faith and your iman with Allah.